Hello everyone, this is Tim Buell for GottaBeMobile.com with a quick video tutorial on the best ways to back up and migrate contacts with iOS. Say you're picking up a new iPhone and you want to make sure all that information is properly saved and able to be migrated to your new device. Well, there's a couple easy ways to do that, a couple of which Apple has already provided and we can check out a third party solution as well. Uh, if you're already using iCloud, you want to go to your settings application and open up the iCloud tab and go ahead and check and just see where the slider is for the contacts. If it's in the green position, you're probably already using iCloud, and if you click to turn it off, you'll be prompted to either keep what's on the iPhone or delete what's on the iPhone. Probably want to keep it in case you want to sync with iTunes or one of the other options that we're going to show you. Um, after that's all said and done, it's usually a good idea to hop onto iCloud.com on your browser, on your computer, and throw in your credentials and open up the contacts application there. Just make sure everything's the same as it was on your iPhone after completing that iCloud sync. Now, say you don't trust iCloud, you don't want to use it, whatever the case, there is always iTunes, and that's why we kept information on the device. So going back and looking at the contacts field again, we just want to make sure that that is kept on the iPhone, and that way we can plug it into our computer and perform a backup with our Mac or our PC. Um, simply going to the Info tab, you'll have the option here to click and sync to the contacts application on the Mac, and don't forget to click Apply to set that sync in motion. Now, I mentioned third-party solutions, and my wife showed me this nifty app, My Contacts Backup. It's a free purchase on the App Store, and uh, just makes a real quick, concise backup of all of your contacts. And it makes it what's called a vCard file. It's a very commonly used file type, especially on Mac computers and iOS devices. So you guessed it, it's gonna make one of those of all of your library of contacts. And they will warn you if you have some big uh, photos attached to any of those contacts, but rest assured, still only uh, 11 megabytes here for my 401 contacts. And you can go ahead and make a quick little email to yourself and they include some instructions in case you're confused. But this is probably the quickest and most concise way to at least back up the contacts. So if you want to do it as a last resort um, or just a way to make sure it's all there, go for it. Anyway, those are a couple options on how to get those contacts saved and move to a new device. Hope you guys found it helpful and we'll talk to you soon.